acrobatics right in front of us on the camera there as he and that, <laughs> considering they have a Nana and a soul from Sisugaja. But as we mentioned, three mages. Is this a new mage meta? We'll see how effective this is. Still looking for some more here. She, he, I remember she We're going to go straight into the line of dawn, it seems. Yep, we're diving in Whoa. instantly. Whoa, already crazy fights going on in the enemy jungle. City is actually going to be on the fanny. First blood over to the Burmese ghouls as they try their best to secure the purple buff. Fumi Echo is the roamer. Viva is the mid laner, so scratch all that, Arashi. They have changed a lot. Venus is going to be able to find that Jeet Kune Do. Oh, be able to dash this and as well. Vivian finds it, flickers forward, gets a stun onto two members, and that's a kill over to Viva. Fumi Echo secures another. What is this? The rolls, Arashi, what's going on here? Purple buff, but Vigatron were able to secure it. Granted, it's not in the hands of what? who it's supposed to go, but Vivian right now getting the purple buff and getting one more kill. Vigatron trying to match fire with fire right here. My goodness, Shell though, gonna be solo killed actually in the gold lane. They will be able to disengage out of this one. Even is still going in aggressively though, might be a bit too much damage. The terrifying comes shot. in, the flame shot is not enough as Bigatron will be able to back away. And despite being so aggressive, they're just not taking any L's right now. Yo, it's a brawl right now Whoa. in the mid lane. Sydney looking for the kills, <laughs> finds it with the steel cables. Or but the Mystic Field actually catches three members. And Bigatron era, they're deciding, hey, we're gonna stick to that mid lane as well. Ku gets a trade back, and Chell jumps back into the mid lane. It's still everybody just clumping up to the mid lane. Arashi, what is this meta? <laughs> the <laughs> was able to get a a decisive kind of victory in the early game. It seems like Sinia is the one that's just getting a lot of time to actually make plays, but uh -oh. cast a curse, man. I spoke too soon. Yeah, everybody just don't say anything, Rashi. Don't predict what's going to happen because it's going to go the opposite way. Need their goal laner to try and get as much income as possible. And look at this aggressive play. Chao with the Inspire 2, doing the damage to take Hyung down. And now what? it's going to be Venus who is forced to back off. Seekal jumping back in. Going to be knocked back. Vivian with I'm Offended finding Seekal. And that's a kill over. Another Mystic Field comes through, almost taking Ku down. Oh my goodness, that's an arrow from Chell. <laughs> This non-stop action right here, and Vicky and Era, despite having the uh, less amount of engage, they're actually coming out on top, but oh look at no. his play! Oh no! <laughs> Playing! No! Oh, he flickers over to the Fanny who picks up the kill! And Bigatron, Era are still in the lead. They still haven't left the mid lane, Hiroshi. And it actually make all the plays happen. There's not enough pressure coming in from the Burmese Ghost. Sinny going to be falling here in the purple buff. That's a two-man stun with a mystic field. But the decimation from Ku finds another. Chell now jumping in. That's oh. going to be another kill for Ku. That's a triple kill for Ku. And she's going in for a rampage. Another one, but she gets shut down under the tier two. Viva picks it up. Walking through in the bush against Seiko. Melee range and it's gonna be an equalizer for the Burmese ghouls here the mid lane turret so that's gonna be very beneficial for them but look at that Vivian still making the place happen but at what cost uh oh that's Rafaela falling down Venus still looking for the Jeet Do has it knocks her up here Sini jumping in with the cutthroat you lead the damage taking a kill back in steel oh. cables all around just styling across the place. We literally don't care of the side lanes here. Vivian's gonna be caught in. Venus looking for the Jeet Do. Finds the way the dragon, but it's the angle that's not just right there. Vivian actually gets out, gets the kill back too. It's not much setup, but look at Shell making the place happen right here. Oh man, that's a double kill. Absolutely, but they're just going in again and again. And right now they will be able to pick up a kill, it seems like. But nevertheless, it's only the Roamer and Pikachu and Era are still having so much more pressure around the map. Mission that's gonna come through. Cool. Ooh, finds the kill, but will be traded back through. Chell finds it back. Killing spree for her. Have retribution here. Chell, though, jumps in, finding the stun down. But the way the dragon locks her up, is that's going to be the Oof. baptism to try to find a disengage that is just not ready for Bigatron era. Your gold laner making solo plays, engaging onto your opponents. Sydney. Definitely not the normal approach. Sydney goes so aggressively, gets a kill against three people, essentially solo. Ku still. Looking for some more here. She, he, I remember she brought the execute on the Marnus so just yet. Wait, it, do we have a remake? What's going on here? It's going to be a surrender for the Burmese ghouls. I'm not too sure what just happened there in game number one, but Bigatron era will be able to take the game. Did they? I, is Not it a have, remake? I have is no it, idea. Is it the red tree issue that you called out? Exactly. Uh, well, no way, right? Bigger Turn Era is your winner, so... It's not a remake. It is, it is just a, it's a surrender. I think this is the first surrender that I've seen in a competitive match. 
in an international tournament. But Bigotron Era, congratulations for the win. I'm still quite speechless, yeah. uh, to say the least, about what actually happened in that game. Mid lane brawl style gameplay. It's not even brawl style. Everyone's just doing their own thing. It's solo queue. Like, do you guess everyone's just, even the rover was split pushing.